is happening people and welcome to today's video where I want to walk through and explain to you guys exactly what I did to organize as well as renovate my at home tool workshop for under $100. Now I do realize that this is a little bit different type of video than you might be expecting from me. However, I get messages every single day from you guys asking what my day to day looks like and if I'd ever be willing to share it. And then I also put out a poll on Instagram just to see if this might be something you guys would be interested in seeing. And most of you say yes, so here we are. Now, I am very blessed with a pretty cool property as well as a decent chunk of wilderness, which means projects all day, every day. It always keeps me busy. And it also means that I need a wide variety of tools. Now, since my garage is 100% a gym, as you guys have seen, I have adopted a 17 foot by 17 foot room in my basement as my workshop that I share with a couple of oil tanks as well as a big chest freezer. So that means that all of the space needs to be used well. Now looking around here, many of you are gonna say that that is not many tools at all, but it was definitely enough for my stupid brain to just kind of have them in a bunch of piles. So every single time that I needed something for a project, I would end up tripping over stuff and I needed to search for things. And I just, it was a pain in the butt every single time that I tried to do anything. So I knew for sure that I wanted to organize all of my tools into different groups and get them up and in sight so that when I needed something, it had a home that I could go directly to, get it, use it for the job, and then return it back to its rightful home. But all that said, the main catalyst that got this entire project going was this top to this heavy duty workbench. So this top is actually made out of two 11 foot long red oak carriages that we reused from a staircase remodel that we did last year. With all my projects, I try to use as much recycled and reclaimed material as possible. Number one, to keep costs down, but then number two, just to be a good responsible human being. Now these carriages were left over and I knew that I wanted to do something with them because this wood was actually milled from some trees that were taken down the property. So it does have some sentimental value and I knew that I wanted to keep it as part of the house. However, they were just sitting up in a bedroom uh, taking up space and they are big and they are heavy and pretty much uh, they were waiting for the right project. And my wife got annoyed enough that it was time for the right project, which just so happened to be this workbench. Another interesting fact, the frame for the table as well as this post, this is just a sawbuck. This is, that's something different. But the actual frame for the table as well as this post came from Neversate. Now, for those who are wondering, Neversate is still open. It just runs as a private club, but I'm still there lifting all of the time. We're just not accepting new members or visitors. That's why I don't really talk about it. However, we did have to downsize it. And when we did, this was actually part of a barbell rack of the original Neversate. And the frame that is holding this thing up was actually a shelf uh, for like decoration and like putting trophies on and things like that. So really, really cool there. This pegboard is also from Never Say. We had two four by four sheets hanging up for people to have different grip implements as well as a place to dry their sweaty sleeves and such. So when we downsized Never Say, this came with me and now it is living up here in the chainsaw section of my workshop. So as you can tell, this entire area is for nothing more than just chainsaw stuff, firewood stuff, things related to that. Also right here, it is time for me to mention the things that I did need to purchase for this project. The first of which were some cut nails because I needed ways to attach the two buys to the block and then the pegboard to the two buys. Now the two buys are just scrap stuff that I had lying around, but I did need to use cut nails to get them into the block. And then I needed shorter screws because pegboard is nothing more than like an eighth inch thick basically. And so I didn't have screws short enough uh, to that would not go through the two buys into the block. So um, yeah, those were two things I needed to purchase. I needed to purchase a box of cut nails as well as a box of short screws. The only other two things I purchased were this four by eight sheet of pegboard because I needed more of that to cover this back construction area. And then I did need some more pegs. I carried a lot of them over from Never Safe, but I did need to buy just a couple more to help supplement to finish off hanging everything. But that does bring us to the construction area of the workshop. So this is where I keep all my stuff for building things, home improvement, stuff like that. As you can see, I have a lot of tools hung up here as well as a bunch of tools down underneath. Now, this top butcher box slab was given to me well over a decade ago by my mother-in-law and I did not have a good use for it until we expanded Never State and then this became the center piece, kind of the center countertop between the two rooms. Now, when we downsized Never State, we walled off that hole and then this ended up coming home with me. Now, the overhang of this was a little bit long, it was awkward, it was kind of unusable. So what we ended up doing was cutting a foot off of the back of this and slamming this whole thing back so that it was just 
better, more uh, functional, and we use that foot off of the back of the table for another shelf over here in the bushcraft slash wood carving section. However, before we make the long, arduous trek over there, I did want to make a note to show you guys that I took a lot of the landscape equipment and just stuff that takes up rooms in corners or that lean against the wall and I hung it up on the ceiling because a lot of times there is a lot of room up there that you just don't think about and I actually used these little hooks that you could buy at any hardware store but I actually was able to reclaim these because uh, the garage that is now currently my home gym uh, these were up there from the previous owner and when we renovated the the garage and turned into a gym I had to get rid of them but I just saved them because I didn't know if I'd ever end up using them and I did for a lot of different stuff as you guys can see over here too yeah a lot of a lot of landscaping stuff over there. And over here is the bushcraft slash wood carving section. Now, as you guys can see, this is the other four x four pegboard that came from Neversate, and it's just being put to use over here with a lot of my bushcraft fun stuff. Now, I do not have my axes up here because my axes are actually on display in my office because I think it's a lot cooler to have axes hanging up than stupid diplomas. And then over here, you can see where I repurposed this like kitchen wall magnet for hanging knives because I have a bunch of chisels and things like that hanging off that and then a lot of my wood carving kind of stuff over here as well as sharpening stones and things like that. I do a lot of just little random wood carving like making chains, spirals, just little stuff. Sometimes I'll make spoons and things that are actually usable but a lot of times it's just little meditative projects that I do. Now this workbench and the tanks were the only thing in this room when we moved here but the previous owner must have had a mind similar to my own because this workbench is nothing more than a reused table. You guys can see the hole for the, the doorknob right there. So pretty cool they did that but we actually ended up taking the other foot that we cut off of the butcher block table and the construction section and moved it over here to make this shelf so that it was kind of double decker and I could put up a lot of things up here that just kind of get out of the way so that I have more usable functional workspace. Having three workbenches uh, is massively, massively important. It might seem to overkill to some people, but if you have a lot of projects going on at once, having workspace and being able to separate things can be really, really useful. So I am beyond happy with how all of this turned out. So yeah, guys, there you go. I hope some of you will either find this interesting or some of you might even find it helpful because I know a lot of people struggle with space issues or organization issues. So if any of this was helpful, please let me know in the comment section down below or if you have ideas that might help me with some other organizational thing, please, again, let me know in the comment section. But I do thank you guys for all the support and I do really enjoy showing some other aspects of my life. Some of this stuff might be kind of interesting, uh, some before and after, whether it be like clearing trails or building stuff or just projects like this. So if these are some videos that you guys do find kind of interesting and you would like to see more, let me know about that. Uh, if you guys do have any questions or comment, leave them below or email me at neversaid at gmail.com. But I thank you guys for all the support through absolutely everything you do. I will catch up with you guys later in the week. Until I do go out something amazing, realize, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then.